What's up, people of the YouTube universe? J Rock 518 here. Today, let's get to the main meat of it. And I do mean meat by, I'm not going to say, but if I point to it, you know what I mean. Nah, I'm not going to scare you people. Um, I'm going to talk about fan service rants. The good and the bad. Now, for those of you mostly, it's mostly about the bad because a lot of unknown and very YouTube-y fanboys things can occur. Now, let's start with the main point. What the... I know what you're all thinking. J5, please, J5, explain this to me. What the fuck is fan service? I'm glad you asked, unknowing person. Fan service is any sexual act or any sexual attention or mood an anime character has in a show. It could be male or female, depending if you're gay or something, you're into that yaoi stuff. But it's mostly a girl trying to show off her good looks, see if a guy wants to bag her and, you know, you know what I mean. But uh, an example of this has been shown in shows and in movies as well. I won't get into movies. That's another rant for another day. But an anime similar to that have done this is Dragon Ball. You know, all the infamous scene of Goku touching Bulma's panties. Yes, that's an example of fan service. A sexual act of a character on another character. It can be playful, it can be stupid, it can be rigorous, it can be disgusting, or very turn onish to the character. It could be torturing, it could be sad, it could be sexually demonic. Yes, anime can do that, people. They can turn it from Goku fighting, you know, Broly or someone big to a fangirl's dream of him banging Vegeta. Oh, God. Oh, get it out of my mind. Ah. Oh. Anyway, I'm not gay. Okay, sorry. I'm back. Sorry. Woo. I'm back. Anyway, examples of this are also like Naruto and Sasuke. Sasuke and Naruto. Gara and Rock Lee. All that. Even girls like Ino and Sakura, Hinata and Naruto, all of them have done it. Any anime parent you could think of has been done on this earth. And it scares me to death. There's so many convicted fans of anime that says, Ooh, let's have Hinata and Naruto together because they belong together. Yeah, I don't watch Naruto anymore. I know I think it was a good show. I don't watch, Sh I don't watch Shippuden for that. I don't watch it at all. I watch the movies... And the shows for the plot, the character development, and what happens. I don't watch it for a piece of ass that shows on my television screen so I can drool like a dog. <laughs> no, I don't do that. That's me being a pervert, and I never am, and I hope not to be, because anime has taken over our minds. Believe it. <gasps> Another example of this is Elvin Lied. Yes, where Lucy comes out naked. We all know. You perverts, get out of your system with your... You know, you're shaking weights and throw it all out. Yes, I am talking about, yes, you fappers, fapping. That's what I'm going to say because DeviantArt scares me sometimes. Even recolors of anime characters can be seen sexual if the art is said to be. Shows like Oran High School Host Club, I think many people know about that, with them having all men being hosts, age 10 to maybe 18. That can also be fan service for the girls who love, oh, steamy hot boys. Oh, my God, I got to watch this anime. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to stop there. Even the guys who watch shows like Baka no Test or Boku no Pico. I'm not saying all of you do. I bet there's a small percentage of you going, Wait, there's a dude. Look at that dick. There. If I go happy, I'm trying to. Okay, I'm not trying to be fucking funny or gay here. I'm explaining my ideas through gesturical information and what I know. Oh, no, I got that shit out of my system. Ugh. Anyway, more about it. There's the pros and the cons. I know what you're saying. Whoa, J5, hold the fuck down. What are you saying there's good things about it? I'm going to tell you. That's right, you. Yeah, I'm looking at you, the guy who's sitting there wondering, damn it, when's this guy going to shut the fuck up? You know, shut your ass down. So I'm going to tell you what it means, you motherfucker. What's good about it? Well, imagination, imaginary consumption, creation. 
anyone's fantasy can become wild and they can make even the most okay of friends be gay. It's because of the old curiosity. Sexual curiosity is what I like to call it, number one. You can have an idea where a girl loves a guy, a guy loves a girl, a threesome, a sandwich. I'm going to stop right there because I don't want to explain too much. Hey, I told you I was going to get dirty, so I'm going to get down and dirty to this. Fan service can be sexual and non-sexual, all right? I'm serious. It can be from fan speculation, shows coming up. It could be a fan speculation of the plot. It can be from two guys who may say, hey, want to hang out, and then you find out, Oh my god, they're gay. Someone get the priest over here. But um yeah, it could be something from the plot, you know, if they have fan service of, oh, what if this happened? <gasps> oh my god, what if this happened? What if you hooked up with that girl instead of that stupid skank, you know, all that. But, you know, it's what you make of it. Number two, the fan art. The fans create fan fiction. That's what a fan service. People can write suspicious fictional stories about people's favorite characters and just blow it out of proportion. I mean, literally, blow it out of proportion. I mean, dear God. I've heard a couple in my time that are not even, are mostly from anime people may know or may not know. Hell, I've heard about fairy tale that scared the pants out of me. I mean, dear God, after reading it, I couldn't speak for an hour. This what I read and what I saw in those in that box of literary consumption. Ugh, that was weird. But anyway, back to an idea. Those are the good things. Now here comes the kicker, folks. The cons. And there are cons here, folks. So listen up. If you want to be safe about fan fiction, follow learn about these so you know when you know about fan fiction, you know what's right and what's wrong. Number one. What's the bad thing about it? Too much sexual pleasure. Now, I don't mean like in reality where a guy is banging a tune. No, this ain't Cool World, all right? Again, I know I'm bouncing off to a movie, but that's kind of an idea. People can have an idea where they have two girls making out, and they think, oh, that's hot. Oh, my God, that's hot. They have two guys or three guys together in one bed. They say, oh, my God, that's hot. Let me start twerking on my engine right now. But no, I think it's kind of wrong because it folds the imagery of the story. Yeah, you could have a guy bang another guy. You just think, wow, how hot is that guy? I mean, you guys can think about that if you're fans of Yaoi and Yui. Yuri. Sorry, I've been saying Yui. It's Yuri. Yuri is for girl on girl, and Yaoi is for guy on guy action. Sorry. Stimulation story. Anyway, but back to what I'm saying. It can really project the wrong messages to people watching it. They can say, oh, Oh, uh, my kid can't watch this because there's sexual stuff on that television. Turn it off. Others can say, no, it's an expression of love. Though that may be true. Thus, that, like I said in the last reduction of this, to see back to the ancient Greek arts, starting to get you know, up the history, the whole sexualization of human beings has been out there since the dawn of time. This can be well applied to anime, as they can well as well do that. So just take your time. Just stop touching yourself or whatever you do. You'll be fine. Number two, too much bitching, all right? I know this is kind of stupid, but too much bitching about, oh, I want that hot guy over there. Why is he not real? Why can't he, can he take me back doors and show me the way out? Okay, people, let me just explain this for the pure thought and for you. You to know you're a real person. You cannot have sexual relations with something that's made of ink and paper. And it's digitized in the computer. That is impossible. It's irrational. It's a little... <laughs> and it's a little stupid. Come on, people. We're all mature about this. And we can understand little hormones in our bodies. I mean, some of us are young teenagers. I mean, I'm not anymore. But I remember feeling that kind of, you know, tension building in my body. You know, hormones growing up. The muscles tensing and, you know, all that. But... You know, when it comes to fan fiction, you really have to... What am I saying? I don't write this shit. What am I talking about? Well, I'm just giving you guys the cons of how bad it can affect people. And that's why I say, reality can mix a fantasy and that can be sexually wrong. Very wrong. Number three. I think this is interesting. 
nudity everywhere. Okay, y'all don't understand what I'm talking about. There are shows where you have a cute girl or a hot woman in a bikini or she's wearing a towel over her body to show the guys, hey, come get some. And the guys are like, okay. <laughs> you don't do that. Anyway, back to the animes of uh, them. They do this as a cliche to get the guys' characters to be motivated. An example of this is Sailor Moon. I know I'm supposed to rant on this stupid anime, but that's an example of fan fiction. When the girls go, you know, Sailor Moon power, you see the digitized idea of them transforming into the Sailor Scale suits. You didn't know what that was? It's nudity, people. Oh, my God. You think all the speckly lights are like, oh, I can't see anything. But it's a, but it's a strip tease. It really is. If you think about it from the mind of a kid who saw this at nine years old, and I was never the same again. I'm just kidding. But anyway, more about it. This it's too much. I know sometimes the uh, nudity is part of the show. I mean, sometimes you got to show that girl who's kind of hot to to guy number one who wants to have a cockfight with guy number two, and they were like going at it, you know, you know, going at it, and the girl would be like, "Stop it, stop it," and then it comes like this sitcom idea. That is true, but not all the show has to be on fan fiction. I mean, fan service. It's also what the show is about. If the fan service fills anything to the story, then that's understandable. But if it's just for show, it kind of gets overboard. Last, but my final idea of why fan fiction is bad. Get ready for this. Any genre can have it. Yes, you all know this right now. Any anime can have fan fiction. Just because you watch Naruto throwing katanas and little nin nunchucks doesn't mean you can't see a moment with one of the female ninjas undressing or them him doing his sexy jutsu to blind some weird dude. Uh, that can happen. Even by the slice of life. Sci-fi. Gurren Lagan, an example of that. Um, neo Genesis Evangelion. And that's where we get into hentai. Oh, God. Actually, you know what? Let's take that route, all right? Really quick. Hentai can also be part of the whole fan service thing. Tentacle porn and all. Ugh. I know I eat tempura, but I don't want to do it like that. Ugh. <sighs> but, like I said, it's for any genre. No one can hide it. It can be in a sci-fi, horror, slice of life, comedy, romance. Even the most badass anime can have a little bit of a strip tease scene or a sex scene because that's probably what the creator wanted. Not to have perverted thoughts, maybe just what the creator had for imagination. And hope you all learned something, and hope you all can understand and share information with others. Just not in bed. All right. As always, it's Jay the Five One Eight signing off. Have a great evening, and as always, see you later. <laughs>